thing. Yes, I'm doing it now. Thank you, Paul. Good morning, mm -hmm. everyone, and welcome to Morning Prayer. Lovely to see you. Beautiful morning. Um, oh, Lord, open our lips. Our mouth shall be open. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation, to you be praise and glory forever, as once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to, the, to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this Hello. new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Yes, sir. Blessed be God, Father, Son, yeah, what can I do for you? Spirit. Yes, yes. Blessed be God forever. The night is I'm, I'm, I'm in a meeting. Oh, I'm just going to mute you, Anne. Sorry for a moment. Yeah. Um, the night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. 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 Psalm 8. Uh, let's read Psalm 8. Okay. Um, now then, who wants to read this with me? Um, Jenny, um, you want to do the even verses? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Okay. O oh Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised out of the mouths of babes of the earth. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have within. What is man that you should be mindful of him? the son of man, that you should seek him out. You have made him little lower than the angels and crown him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands and put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field. The birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O oh Lord, our governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Hello, Bisola. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Morning, Bisola. No, no. Are you back in London? Yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome Did it all go well? Yes, I, it did. And he was okay. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. I saw lovely. Kap and Zari yesterday. They were oh, only... that must have been lovely to see Zari again. Have you seen Okaba yet or not? Yes, Okaba was here. It was here. Oh, lovely, lovely. lovely. Yeah. So great. So what a wonderful psalm that is. Psalm 8, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Considering, yes, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars that you have ordained, yeah? Yeah, it's a very poetic psalm, isn't it? And verse 6, you have made him little, a little lower than the angels. Yes. You crown him with glory and honour. Mm. So we are, we, are, we are blessed and glorified because of God's love for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Okay, great. Let's scroll down. Where are we? Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've gone on to the wrong thing. Um, so, where are we? Sorry. Deuteronomy? Yeah, a little bit more Deuteronomy. Yeah. Right. Um, who wants to tackle this? Elizabeth, are you up for this? Go, mm, so, yes. Deuteronomy 1, 19 to 40. Thank you. Then, just as the Lord our God had ordered us, we set out for, from Horeb, and went through all the great and terrible wilderness that you saw, on the way to the hill country of the Amorites, until we reached Kadesh Barana. I said to you, I said to you, you have reached the hill country of the Amorites, which the Lord our God is giving us. See, the Lord your God 
has given the land to you. Go up, take possession as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Do not fear, nor be dismayed. All of you came to me and said, let us send men ahead of us to explore the land for us and bring back a report to us regarding the route by which we should go up and the cities we will come to. The plan seemed good to me, and I selected 12 of you, one from each tribe. They set out and went up into the hill country, and when they reached the vale, valley of Eskol, they spied it out and gathered some of the land's produce, which they brought down to us. They brought back a report to us and said, it is a good land and the Lord our God, that the Lord our God is giving us. But you were unwilling to go up. You rebelled against the command of the Lord your God. You grumbled in your tents and said, it is because the Lord hates us that he has brought us out of the land of Egypt to hand us over to the Amorites to destroy us. Where are we heading? Our kindred have made our hearts pale by reporting the people are stronger and taller than we are. The cities are large and fortified up to, the, up to heaven. We actually saw there the offspring of the Anakim. I said to you, have no dread or fear of them. The Lord your God who goes before you is the one who will fight for you, just as he did for you in Egypt before your very eyes and in the wilderness where you saw how the Lord your God carried out just as one carries a child, all the way that you have traveled until you reach this place. But in spite of this, you have no trust in the Lord your God, who goes before you and on the way to seek out a place for you to camp, in fire by night and in cloud by day, to show you the route you should take. When the Lord heard your words, he was wrathful and swore, no one of the, not one of these, not one of these evil generations shall see the good land that I swore to give to your ancestors, except Caleb, son of Jephthanai. He, say, he shall say, say it, see it. And to him and to his descendants, I will give the land on which he sets foot because of his complete fidelity to the Lord. Even with me, the Lord was angry in your, on your account, saying, You also shall not enter there. Joshua, son of Nun, your assistant, shall enter there. Encourage him, for he is the one who will secure Israel's possession of it. And as for your little ones, who you thought would become booty, your children who today do not yet know right from wrong, they shall enter there. To them I will give it, and they shall take possession of it. But as for you, journey back into the wilderness in the direction of the Red Sea. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, mm -hmm. So again, Moses is recapping their story. He's coming to the end of his life and reminding them of why it is they've been wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. Um, and this is because of their lack of faith, their rebellion against God. They're not ready. <laughs> to go into the promised land and fulfill the will of God. So they've had this, is, this um, privilege is being passed down to the next generation. And for the two um, who would, would have had the confidence to go on, Joshua and Caleb. Yeah. yeah. Any thoughts about that then? Well, it seems very strange. I mean, other than they were told they were stronger and taller and all that business, mm. they also came back Excuse saying me. what a beautiful country it was. It was full of this milk, milk and honey that they yeah. were, you know, grapes and olives and stuff. You would have thought yeah. they would have said, oh, whoopee do, let's get going. But no. I suppose they, they were That's just a bit terrible. like us, isn't it? Yeah, I think the grass is greener on the other side, but we're too comfortable on the on the side we're on. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, because it requires us to take courage. Yeah, they didn't have the the trust in God, the confidence that God would deliver them, them despite mm -hmm. all, all their experiences. 
yeah mm. so all right let's scroll down then and we're going to read that second half of the easter morning story from john um bisola would you like to read that for us yes please but mary stood weeping outside the tomb as she wept she bent over to look into the tomb and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they had laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? For whom are you looking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means chicha. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to, but go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had, that he had said these things to her. Thank you. So we had the first half of the story yesterday where Mary goes to the tomb and finds it empty. And Simon and John, she goes to tell them, they come and look, but then they go home. She stays around, weeping in the garden. And she sees these two angels. Um, which is similar to what we've read in some of the other gospels, have an angel or two angels in the tomb who say that Jesus is risen. Well, they did, well, here they, what do they say? Um, well, they don't really say anything to her, do they? But um, they say, why are you weeping? And that's when she turns around and sees Jesus standing there, but she doesn't recognize him and thinks he's the gardener. And not, an, Till he calls her by name, yeah. It's a very beautiful story, yeah. Yeah, mm. but presumably that I, I was, was listening to Basola read it. You think, oh, well, why didn't she? But then, if she was crying, as we know ourselves, if you you're all got swollen eyes and they're all weepy, mm. you're not in focus, are you? You don't see things clearly. Yeah, and so you. She, She's not expecting to see him, is she? And she's not expecting to see him either. So the two things together, she can't see the figure clearly, nor is she expecting to, it to be Jesus. The same applies, though, to those two on the road to Emmaus. Yeah. There is something, there is something different about the risen Christ that makes it, them not recognise him, but then it's in the things that he does and says like when he breaks the bread they realize, it's, they realize him, it's him yeah. and when he calls her by name she recognizes him yeah mm. so it's a mystery really isn't it how he is the same but different yeah mm. Mm. As will all of us be. Yes, indeed. It's a beautifully personal how he calls her by her name, isn't it? It's very intimate, isn't it? Yes. Right. Uh, shall we read the responsory? Why not? Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Where, O oh, death, is your sting? 
the Amen. trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where are we there? There? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for that beautiful account of the risen Christ in the garden outside the tomb. And uh, Lord, we pray that like Mary, we will hear you call us by name, by our own names, showing your love for us and your calling on each of our lives. And Lord, we thank you for that calling. And we pray that we might be more worthy of that calling, not just as individuals, but as as your your family as as your body on earth lord that we might fully reflect your love and your glory in jesus name amen amen lifting to you all those who suffer at this time especially Gillian figaro jenny figaro christopher golis vivian golis sati ganani evelyn hannah sean hunt pete jadhav maureen kelly Anna Lee, Susan Rigby, Betty Seaman, John Walton, Dia Sharma, and Susan Chamberlain. Lord, bring healing and comfort and hope in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, I thank you. I thank you for answered prayers. I thank you for Johnny Messies that you granted unto me, Lord. I thank you for the grace that um, I was able, um, when I got back, I met my children, healthy and they're well, mm. and everything is okay. Father, I thank you for the time I spent in Nigeria. I thank you for your hand of protection upon my life, oh Lord. Yes. Lord, I thank you for meeting everyone, even the morning prayer group oh well uh, lv and well father lord i thank you for the time that um i spent and i thank you for all that you've been to me and all that you're doing for me lord in jesus mighty name amen amen lord we thank you for your love and we thank you for your goodness to us. Thank you, Lord, for a brand new day you have given us. Thank you, Lord, for creating us to reflect your glory. Lord, I pray that we continue by your grace to, to do so. And Lord, to continue our relationship with you through prayer and communion and fellowship with one another. Lord, thank you for the mercies of for this day. And Lord, we wait in anticipation, in anticipation to see the blessings, whereby we know, Lord, that you, God, our Father, our Savior, and our friend, so thank you again to your gracious mercies towards us. This is my prayer of thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we thank, just pray that there is a good uptake of the uh, COVID vaccination mm. uh, pop-up clinic, which is going to happen at the Bridge Link Centre, especially for the Somalians today. Mm. That they take the opportunity to come to it and use it. Mm this morning yes amen. amen amen and thank you lord that in the moments when we feel alone from our lives you show yourself and let us know that you are always there amen 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 Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.
So let's use the traditional version of the Lord's Prayer, rejoicing in God's new creation. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, give us this Forgive us our May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thank you. Great. What a lovely start to the day. Uh